Today, we're discussing what's possibly the most exclusive collection Louis Vuitton has ever released. I first saw a couple photos leaked online of this collection a couple weeks ago. I was so excited when I saw these photos. I went to a couple friends that I go to for Louis Vuitton new release information and nobody had seen or heard of this collection and Quite a few people tried to convince me that this collection didn't exist. They were like, girl, you are delusional. Calm down. Stop it. But I was persistent. I kept going back. I kept trying to look for more information. And I was finally able to confirm from three independent sources that yes, this collection does exist. It is a China exclusive. It is very limited. Even within China, it is a limited collection to only five stores. So let's take a look. Let's talk all about the LV and I customizable Speedy 18s. I'll tell you all the details I was able to confirm and whether or not this might be accessible in a store near you at any point in the future. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, this is Lula West Lux. On my channel, I like to talk about new releases at Louis Vuitton. I also like to share advice for making smarter luxury shopping decisions. If you like that sort of content, I hope you will click that subscribe button down below so you can catch all of my future videos. Today, we're discussing the LV and I. DIY customizable Speedy 18 collection. This just launched on July 17th in China. And even within China, this collection is very exclusive. It's only available at five LV stores within the country. So this is very hard to get. But even so, I have been personally obsessed with this collection ever since I saw it, and I thought it would be so much fun to have a little chat about it. So let's talk about what exactly this is, if you're not familiar with it. I first saw this collection a couple weeks ago online. Some photos were leaked. I saw them on an Instagram account, LVLovers6. I also saw a few photos on the purse forum. And ever since then, I was hooked. So I reached out to a personal shopper. Her name is Shop with Crystals, and she is based in Asia. I did think that she might know a little bit of information about this collection, and she delivered. So thank you to Crystals for sharing a lot of this information. I was also able to confirm information through lv 2 over on Instagram, as well as VV. V-I-O-U-S. I have no idea how to pronounce her handle, so I'm just going to spell it out. But thank you to those three uh, creators online for confirming a lot of this information for me. This collection is a Speedy 18. It's available in six different colorways. We have three canvas colors and three leather colors. I'll go over all the options in just a minute. So you pick out your Speedy 18. Then you pick a strap to go with your Speedy. There's nine different strap options available and it's three different styles of strap. You pick out one large bag charm or bag accessory to clip onto the outside of your bag. There's 11 options for the bag charms. And then you also get a removable leather strap that attaches around the top handles and that leather strap has three small metal bag charms that you can pick out and attach to that strap. So it is fully customizable. So let's take a look at some of the photos of this bag and the options. If you see me looking off screen, I'm just looking down at my notes and the photos I have as I'm talking about these pieces. So we have six different bags available. It's all the Speedy 18. It's only that one size of the Speedy. There's three canvas options and they are not your typical canvases. We have, of course, the classic monogram canvas with Vachetta leather trim. 
We also have the Dune monogram canvas, also with Vachetta leather trim. We saw Dune canvas in the Cruise 2024 collection. So this is a new colorway for monogram canvas. It's a light off-white background with a beige LV monogram print. However, this Speedy 18 is different because in the Cruise collection, the Dune monogram had a black leather trim. This has a full Vachetta leather trim. The third canvas option that's available is Monogram Eclipse. And this is so exciting to see a Speedy 18 in this colorway because typically the Monogram Eclipse is reserved for the men's collections only. So those are the three canvas prints that are available. In leather, we have three pastel colors. We have a light purple, which is Wisteria. We have a light green, which is matcha green, and we have a light blue. Those are all in a pebbled leather. I'm not sure exactly what leather it is, but to me, just from looking at the photographs, it looks like this is a Torreon leather. So those are all the bags available. I will talk prices after we look at all the options, but all the prices are the same, whether you get canvas or leather. Once you've picked out the bag you like, you get to pick what strap you'd like to go with it. And there's nine different strap options. The first style is a monogram canvas bandolier. And this is monogram canvas on one side, and then you have an accent color on the reverse side. And there's four different options. You have matcha green, wisteria, which is light purple, and we have light blue. The fourth color option is a pale yellow. There's also a shorter braided chain strap. This comes in three different options. We have a cream leather with gold hardware. We have either a dark brown or black leather with gold hardware. I can't exactly tell from the photographs, but that is the second option. The third option is a monochromatic black chain. So we have black leather with a black hardware. The third and final strap option that's available, and this is in one color only, it is a beige jacquard fabric guitar style strap. It says Louis Vuitton in the classic Louis Vuitton block lettering. And then in script, it says forever. So it's a little bit of a different design that we've seen in other um, guitar straps in the past. Once you've picked out your Speedy and your strap, you get one large charm or bag accessory to attach to the outside of your bag. All of the sources I talked to said that there were 11 accessories to choose from. However, as I was looking through all the product photos, I actually counted 13 different accessories, so I'm not sure why that discrepancy is there, but either way, it's around a dozen accessories you have to choose from. There are five coin purses to choose from. There's a round coin purse in all three of the canvases for this collection. There's also two heart coin purses available, and these are available in either Wisteria or pale yellow. And when you look close at the photos of these coin pouches, they do look like they're in an epi leather. Another accessory that's available is a key bell. These are really cute. It comes in three different colors, black, light blue, and yellow. And these key bells have charms around the strap. It looks like there's two monogram flowers with an LV cube on top of it. So you get the key bell with these charms on top. Your next option for accessories is a hair clip. We saw this hair clip featured in the LV Remix collection that came out, I believe back in January. You can choose from two colors for the hair clips, either matcha green or cream. And then there's a gold chain that attaches to one of the hooks on the outside of your bag. The final accessory that's available is a plain LV enamel bag charm. And this is available in three different colors. We have matcha green, 
fuchsia, and black. The final accessory you can attach to your Speedy is a bag charm strap that you attach around the top handles. So basically it's a leather strap with a buckle at the end. You can pick out up to three bag charms of your choice. The charms just slide onto the leather strap and then you buckle it around the top handles. Let's take a look at the charms available now. As I said, there's 19 charms. You have your classic LV charms. You have the LV logo in either black or cream. There's also the LV monogram flower that's available in either gold or black. There's also an LV lock in gold. I like this lock. There's a monogram flower design etched onto the side of the lock. I think that's a really nice touch. There's also two heart-shaped locks in both fuchsia and black. And of course, this is Louis Vuitton, so we have to have Vivienne charms. We have Vivienne in wisteria and matcha. We have an Eiffel Tower as a nod to France. We also have a panda bear as a nod to China. There's also things like a rainbow, an ice cream cone, a slice of cake, a strawberry, a clover, a blue hot air balloon, and a peace sign, and finally a smiley face. Now that we've seen everything available in this capsule collection, let's talk about the price, the pros, the cons, and some criticisms I've heard of this collection. For the price, again, this is only available in China right now, this is 27,700 yuan. However, I have done some currency conversions in US dollars. This is 3,800 USD. In um, Australian dollars, this is 5,700 AUD. In Canadian dollars, this is 5,200 CAD. And in Euro, this is 3,500 Euro. And again, those are all just currency conversions from Yuan to the other currencies I mentioned. If at some point this collection is available outside of China, it may be priced differently than that. That's just the conversion from Yuan to those other currencies. Now, logistics for this collection because the price is expensive, yes, but you get a lot with the bag. Not only do you get the bag and the strap, but you do get a few extra accessories with it. I like that you get all those accessories that are removable from the bag. So you can style this with just the bag and the strap. You can get a really simple look, or you can wear as many or as few of the accessories that you picked out as you want. So you can get a lot of different looks out of the bag. And of course, because they're removable, you can use these with any other bag you own. So there is a lot of versatility. And I think it's also really important to consider the production costs for this collection. The production costs are higher just because of the logistics. You have to remember that not only is LV producing this bag in six different colorways, but then they have nine different straps, 11 different bag charms, and 19 of those small metal charms. That's a lot to coordinate how much to produce of each item, getting it into all those five different stores, and making sure that your stock matches up with client demand for all those individual pieces. So it's a lot of logistics. I do think that higher price point is kind of warranted, even though it is crazy expensive. This collection is so limited. It's only available in five stores. So I have a feeling that Louis Vuitton is really testing this out right now and seeing logistically, how will this work? What are the kinks once they roll it out? And how are they gonna work out any issues that arise? If it works out well, I do think we have the potential to see this in additional markets. I think it really, really depends how this collection works, how smooth or difficult 
the ordering and the production is for this collection. I don't think this will be something that will ever be widespread in every single Louis Vuitton store in the world, but I do think if it works out well, perhaps we could see this in other flagship locations around the world. That's what I have my fingers crossed for. I would absolutely love to get one of these speedies. Let me talk about some of the pros and cons and the criticisms I've heard of this collection, and then I'll tell you which speedy I would personally pick out. Of course, the biggest con is the price. It's super expensive, but I've already addressed that. Another con I've heard of this collection is it's childish, and I have to disagree with that. I think you can make a bag to suit whatever your personal style is, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a really cute look. Yes, you can make a really cute bag. You can get one of those pastel colors. You can attach the heart-shaped coin pouches, some of those cutesy bag charms. You can put on a hair clip. And yes, you can make a really cute looking little bag, but you can also make a really classic bag. You can go with that classic monogram canvas. You can get a monogram guitar strap or um, a monogram bandolier or the guitar strap and some really toned down accessories. You can also make something really edgy. You can go for a full monochromatic black look. You can get that monogram eclipse with the black braided chain strap. You can get some of the black accessories to go on your bag. So you can make it edgy, classic, cute, whatever your personal style is. So I really love that. And I love that everything is removable. So you can wear as many or as few accessories on your bag as you'd like. You can also mix and match it with other bags that you own in your collection as well. So it is super versatile. I do love that everything is removable and interchangeable. So I personally really love this collection. Personally, I would pick out the Dune Monogram Speedy. I absolutely love the Dune Monogram Canvas. It's classic, but a little bit different. I love that lighter colorway. I would get it with the Dune Monogram Round Coin Purse. I love that it's actually a functional piece to use, and I think that coin purse would look so nice on other pieces I own in the classic monogram canvas. It would be a great accessory for the other bags I own. I would also get this with the braided leather and chain strap. I think that's a nice decorative chain that, again, would also work on other pieces I own. For the metal charms, I'm not really sure offhand. I would have to see exactly what ones would look better with that bag, but probably I would go with the classic gold charms, the gold LV logo, the gold monogram flower, maybe one of the Vivian charms because I love Vivian. I also really like the gold lock. So those would be my choices for the LV and I Speedy. Comment below and let me know which bag you would pick out, what you think of this collection, all that good stuff. Please share that with us in the comments. As always, I will leave another video up here for you to watch next and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.